small story. Escape from Liam's obsession, Kate seeks refuge in her grandpa's mansion. Oh, I'll never do that. That's mistake Just number one. Just be sure one. she doesn't cross the rainbow bridge on the way. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. They... Worst case... And uh, this would never happen, but... I knew this place was, like, legit when they said, like, they have, like, vets on... On deck. If anything... If anything were to happen, like, if she were to, like, choke on a rock or something... They would have people there to make sure she's okay. So, thank God. Don't say that, bro. What the f I would actually... Oh. We have to, like, let her out to pee on the balcony. And every time... It's, like, completely safe. Like, we have it all, like... Patched up so that there's no way that she could fall off. Unless we were, like, holding her and she, for whatever reason, jumped out of our arms. I have, like, the most horrifying intrusive thought every time I go out onto the balcony with her and I just, like, my heart f***ing stops. This is why we need a, a, a yard. I can't do this anymore. It's too f***ing stressful. Or, yeah, or jump. Or my dog is a sociopath. <laughs> like in that one movie that I watched with the, the French guy. That's why we're really training her. <laughs> I had to break up with Liam, and I hope he takes it well. Spoiler alert, I don't think he's gonna take it well. I think he's gonna terrorize you a little bit, and you're gonna have to go to therapy. Bro, this is a really nice house. If I was a stalker, I would stalk someone who had a house this nice. Just to kind of like live vicariously through them. And they even have vaporwave paintings on the wall. I need to make some food. I'm hungry. Damn, bitch. Your stomach is gurgling. Yeah, I'm the stalker. Maybe that's the, the twist of the game. I'm going to eat... Uh, oh, jeez. I'm just a little bit peckish. I guess I'll just have some ketchup straight from the bottle. Maybe some ketchup and uh, some chickpeas. Maybe I'll take a little... A little toothpick, and I'll take a little chickpea, and I'll dip it in the ketchup. Just lightly, and I'll lick the ketchup off, and then spit it out so I don't get the calories from the ketchup. She doesn't have anything in her fridge. Oh, no. I have to cook? In a stocking situation? I'm not a professional. Don't listen to me for advice. I think, like, you should probably go to the cops, but... There is a strat that I think could work. Just like weird out the stalker. Like you know they're watching you. Why not do things that would just like completely give them the egg? Like how girls are like, Oh, I... I my boyfriend uh, screamed on a roller coaster and now I have the ick. Or my boyfriend cried at his grandma's funeral and now I have the ick. You have to give your stalker the egg. Yeah, out stalk the stalker. But you can't let them know that you know they're watching. Because then they'll... Uh, the jig is up. They'll know that you're par purposely being weird. You have to... Give them like a voyeuristic... Keyhole... View... Into some of your most bizarre fucked up habits. What if he's into it? You guys just trial and error it. Like maybe the stalker... Is like... He goes on Reddit later and he's like... Reddit, am I the asshole? I was stalking this girl, but I noticed that she went to bed wearing socks and I just got the ick and it just really turned me off. So I am i guess I'm just not stalking her anymore. I stalked the other neighbor instead. I would get rid of a stalker. I don't know, if I was stalking someone and I saw... Like, they were really into steampunk. Or, like, had, like, a stripper pole in their room, or, like... Maybe... They... They cook... Please come join us, and I'm looking forward <laughs> to seeing you all. They cook, and they don't... And they pour the oil from the cooking down the... The garbage disposal. Felmaria? Wait, like, from Bloodborne? Of the astral clock tower? 
Yo, thank you for the raid. Wait, wait, I can... Thank you, Lucy, for the raid. Check this out. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. It took you 20 million tries? Holy fuck. Bro, that boss fight is so cool. Yes. I, I love that character so much. She's so fucking badass. Yeah, here's my, my dad's hands. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome in. Mm. Hi. I hope you, I hope you had fun. I, I hope it felt amazing. I hope the... The cathartic feeling of finally defeating her was everything that you dreamed of. Right now we're playing this game about this girl who is apparently being stalked by an insane man. And she's attempting to cook something and keeps forgetting what she's doing. Like she walked in... She had that thing where you like walk into a, a room and you walk back out and you're like, Wait, wh wh where was I going? What was I doing? She's really cool and she made me cry. Bro, I know. Bloodborne is just... Oh, it's one of my favorite fucking games. Such a good story, lore, atmosphere. Combat is amazing. The boss fights are so fucking cool. That one is just like in my top 10 favorite boss fights. Contextual memory cache gets flushed when you load a room. Every time you open a door and go into another room... Your molecules get completely rearranged and you're not the same person you were before you walked in. What if we cook up some, uh, organic food? Mmm, nah. Just straight out of the can. I call that a dump meal. Who would be knocking on my door at this hour? I love food with or, or with ingredients that I can pronounce. <sighs> like Red Forty Die. Uh, where's her front door? Is it here? Who's there? Hey, honey, can I come in? Ugh, Liam, I told you it's over, so no, you can't come in. Is this like one of those One Direction fan fictions? <laughs> Dark Liam from One Direction. Liam Payne is going to give you some Liam Payne. And then Harry shows up and he's like, Come on, you have to come with us. Get into the One Direction van. We're going to take you on tour with us. You're going to become the new Liam because the old Liam went crazy and got dog. And then Liam is just like chasing you guys the entire time. That'd be so good. Open the door, Kate. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. You will be mine again soon. Sounds like he walked away, thank God. I'm gonna just, uh... Close that for an extra layer. Liam from One Direction as a dick? Yeah, apparently he's a stalker too. Oh nice, my food is done. And then she just like... <laughs> Grabs it right out of the searing hot pan, like. <laughs> Why did it sound? This sounded crunchy. About to calm myself down a bit would be great right now. It'd be a shame if there was a stalker that was watching my every move. What if the stalker was like? He's not like going to harm you in any way. Or be like creepy. He's just stalking you to backseat your life. Like at any opportunity, he just like leaves little like notes and shit behind or like when you least expect it, you're like in the shower and he's like, Oh, don't, don't, don't forget to wash behind your ears. Oh, you do not want to wash that sweatshirt when it's not inside out. It's gonna, it's gonna ruin the graphic on. And please use cold water. Oh my god, she used warm water. Oh, it's fucking ruined. It's gonna shrink and it's gonna look like shit. Great job. Oh my god, for fuck's sake! For fuck's sake, use Google Spreadsheet! Why are you trying to make a numbered list in a fucking notepad? Whoa, what a nice bathroom! It's got like the, the wet room thing. Oh, I do not like how there's like a see-through clinical fucked up curtain. What the 
the fuck was that? I think... Me thinks the, the pilot light went out. Whoa, what the... Oh my god, she's getting into the bath without showering first. Oh my god, did she just take a piss and not wash her hands? God, this is so painful to watch. <laughs> Your stalker is like... Sitting outside the window, just like fucking seething with veins bulging in his head. Like, fuck, god damn it! Fuck! So fucking painful to watch! Oh my god! Oh my god, what are you doing with that cast iron pan? No, don't use soap on it, you're gonna... Oh, it's fucking over. What the fuck? Um, did she just give her dog a fucking rawhide? Doesn't she know that that was called cancer? Jesus Christ. I made a mistake stalking this person. Single woman cooking is cringe. <laughs> yeah, what are they gonna do with the... Cooking when they're done with it. Put it in their vagina or something? <laughs> hey guys, uh... I'm not getting the deposit back on this place. Oh my god. Okay, this guy is cringe. He left behind a fucking written crayon note. So cliche. Give me another chance, please. I will treat you well and do anything you want. I promise. Just one chance is all I ask. That can't be too much, can it? And he'd signed it XOXO? Does anyone actually do that anymore? Bro, he threw a, a rug. Did he, like, tape the note to the rock? <laughs> What's he gonna do next? Send it with a fucking carrier pigeon? Is, like, there's gonna be a fucking bird flying in here? Oh god, why did the lighting get kind of surreal and, uh, dreamlike and... Whoa. Another beautiful day in the greatest city in the world. backseats like how you run from them when they break into your house like oh my god oh she went the wrong way again oh my god I, how have you lived in this house for five years and you don't know which light switch lights up that hallway come on man come on even i know that and i've been stalking you for two weeks ah jesus jump off the balcony jump off the balcony jump off Why does it have to play the, like, the fucking cliche horror movie? Dumb. Okay. What is our course of action here? How do we not get caught? Just run out the front door? Yeah, where the fuck are you supposed to go? Okay. What if I run towards him, grab the frying pan that's still hot, and just like, doom on his head? You can see it. Dang, she has a nice car, too. Hmm, I remember that bonfire. One night in summer. <laughs> I still remember when we went out and went hunting for snipes. Hello, Grandpa, I need your help. Hey, what's going on? Liam broke into my apartment and chased me. I barely got away and now I'm in my car with nowhere to go. That's horrible. Are you okay? Did he hurt you or something? No, I got away before he could do something, but I'm terrified he'll find me. Okay, I assume you're looking for a place to stay for a while? Yes. You can come live with me for as long as you need. However, I'm going to be out on a business trip for one week. <gasps> we could throw a house party! That's 
it's fine. It's still gonna be safer than staying here. Can I go there right now? That'd be a really good way. You know how, like, rebellious teens always want to find an excuse to hold a house party somewhere that's not their own house? Because it's just cooler. You could just, like, make up a story that there's, like, a serial killer or, like, a stalker chasing you and be like, Grandpa, can I stay at your million dollar mansion estate? Yes, I'll send you the address. The key to my house is in a flower pot. Also, remember to keep the doors locked, and if you need to go outside, you can always check the pee hole first. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. No problem. I hope all goes well, and don't hesitate to call me again. Okay, Grandpa. Oh, it's... Ah! Jesus Christ! Was that real, or...? <laughs> Why does he look like Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> he looks like he wears fucking toe socks. That was a close call. Thank God I made it out. Liam won't be able to find me anymore now. Yeah, surely, yeah. I've finally broken free from that toxic relationship. Oh, God. I'm so glad that my grandpa lives in a dilapidated old house really far out into the woods, away from civilization, away from uh, lights. Oh, no. Did Liam manage to follow me here? Bro, what the fuck are you doing? I'm getting too paranoid now. Of course it's not him. Probably just a neighbor. Yeah. Other people live out here. Right? Really? Yeah, you just look behind into the rear room mirror and he's fucking like sprinting. <laughs> Ooh, F a flashlight. That's original. <laughs> Wait a minute. This mansion looks familiar. Where have I seen this before? Is this like a Unity asset that gets used in a bunch of other horror games? <laughs> Grandpa said the key was in a flower pot. Probably this one. Ooh. Should I, uh... Wow, it's dark in here. Let's turn on some lights and find the bedroom. I want to hit the bed ASAP. Meanwhile, the stalker just hears her talking out loud, and he's like, Oh, she said ASAP out loud. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm gonna get obsessed with somebody else and stalk them instead. Find the bedroom? Oh. Wow, Grandpa, your house is, uh, very dimly lit. Very cozy. Wow. So many good memories here growing up. This looks like that mansion from that, that game we played with the... Oh god. They have an anime figure. The, the one where the kid is like possessed by the devil. What, what the fuck is that called? Leviticus? <gasps> Wait, I gotta lock the door! I think they'll give me the good ending. Oh, uh, this looks like storage. This looks like a really good place to hide. The bedroom's probably, uh, it's probably on the second floor. <laughs> this reminds me of when we had to clean out my grandma's, uh, my dad's side. Her house when she had to go to an old folks home and they found just like jars and jars of half used Vaseline in the drawer next to the bed. Maybe it was for, I don't know, maybe they gotta grease up their old bones. Oh, thank God it's daytime. Wow, I slept that long? 
It's time to go heat up some organic food in the frying pan. Most important meal... What the fuck was that? Is Grandpa home already? Maybe it's the, uh, the milkman. Uh, hello? Wait, is that my car? Oh, this is the uh, kids doing the dog... Dog poop in a bag on fire trick. Dearest new resident of this mansion, I'm the previous owner of this mansion and you're the person I've been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we'll get along. <gasps> Wait, this is just like that... That one story that actually happened of the water. This actually happened in real life. There's this family who moved into a, a new house and they started getting these strange letters from this guy who called himself the Watcher. And he started giving these like really hyper detailed descriptions of like what their kids were doing in the backyard and like, oh, I see that little Jimmy likes to paint. He's quite the little artist, isn't he? The Watcher. I need to get going to the store before it gets dark though. Let's be careful. Let's lock the door behind us. This is Woman Life Simulator. Didn't you send them videotapes? I think he just sent them really ominous letters. There was a... Yeah, there was a show based on it, right? I haven't seen it. Is it any good? Oh. A little convenience store in the middle of uh, nowhere. What's that? Some kind of paper? Over here? Ing person. Fucking person! Well, wow, it's creepy how similar she looks to me. R&B to switch side? Ashley, missing sense. Wait, why is the date written like that? There's no... It's the 15th month. Please help us bring Ashley home. If you have any information, even the smallest detail, contact the police. Whoa. This is horrible. I hope they find her. What if she was a bitch with bad vibes? <laughs> oh, hi there. Haven't seen you here before, are you new? Bro, this guy looks like he has a, like, a gaming channel. On YouTube. Where he, like, reviews new games. Or, like, a, like, a... He's just like an older gentleman that's really, really into Warhammer figurines. Yes, I just moved in. Where do you live? I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Are you alone? Um, I'm gonna hurry. you. Sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> just a cute little store. We even have two-dimensional beverages. And ketchup. It's Jesse oh. Cox at home. Jesse Cox? Wait, who's that? That sounds familiar. I'm not- I'm not good at- Wait. Isn't this just the same guy? Wait, he has a braided beard! That guy How is 90% of Nyaner's fans. <laughs> Jesus! Including me, because I'm a fan of myself. They- they look... Are they brothers? Maybe they're the convenience store brothers. What if... Okay, what if this guy comes to her rescue? Text him when he talks to women IRL. <laughs> oh. Do you have any recommendations? For, uh, I don't know, uh, snacks and, uh, ba ba old wa -o. He's, like, looking right through me. Oh, I want some, uh, canned meatballs. Some chips. Wait, she doesn't... Doesn't she need to get a basket? She's just raw-dogging all this stuff. 
I heard an old wives' tale that said that... Wait, uh, how many of you guys were born prematurely? Some milk... Are any of you guys preemies? Fruit cereal... My favorite... You were born late? Damn, I never really thought that the opposite could happen. That you're just like a late bloomer coming out. Got too comfortable in there. Two weeks? Oh god, that must have been so painful. Yeah, it was 10 fucking pounds. Wait, half of chat was prematurely born? I wonder if there's a correlation between prematurely born babies and VTuber fans. But I heard an old wives tale that said that prematurely born babies are trying to get out there as soon as possible because the pussy stank. Yeah, I'll just have some a bottle of wine. Hello, is that all? Yes. All right, your total is twenty-two fifty. Thank you for. <laughs> Thank you for shopping here. Also, I can tell you are new to the area. How long are you staying for? No problem. I'm not sure yet. Not too long, I would assume. Oh, nice little bag. Is this sustainable? All right, have a good day. And here are your groceries. Thanks. You too. Oh no, why did I say that? You too? You... Oh god damn it. Fuck. And then meanwhile, the stalker's like in the bushes out there and he's like... Getting like secondhand cringe. Like, oh god. Oh, she, she said you too. <gasps> oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does this guy look like he's about to do like the finger snapping poetry? Oh, he's got a fucking turtleneck on. You know, a young, beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out all alone like this. What do you want? I do have some wishes, but I think it's best to remain unspoken. He's not talking about doing anything weird to her or being like a creep. He's actually talking about like... I wanna have... I wanna make a mountain out of ice creams and run out of movie Tito with a bunch of supermortals and a really cool cars and play Minecraft with everybody. It's the other 10% of Nyaner's fans. <laughs> the 10% taking all the anime VTuber streams. Be careful and don't let me catch you all alone again. Holy fuck. Maybe he's doing it to teach her a lesson about safety. I don't need your warning. Just pick my space and stay away. Oh. Is she just getting like really paranoid and thinks everyone is out to get her? Yeah, this, this is just uh... They should change the name of this game to Woman Simulator 2024. Let's not forget the groceries in the car. Have you guys ever been to Target? A little past sundown, like a little too much past sundown, in like a that Target with a parking that garage. That weird dono during the cooking stream. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you're walking back to your car in the dimly lit parking garage, and like when you parked there, when you got there, you're like, oh, I'll park around a bunch of cars so I won't feel like. Scared for my life going back because I'll be like around other people, right? But you stayed in the store like a little too long and everyone who was parked around you is gone now So it's just your car there One singular fluorescent light above it in the dark garage And you hear footsteps behind you Lock the door and then you, you open up your car and you have to check the back seat and the trunk because like you're like thinking like this is ridiculous like who who would just like hide in the trunk of all things? Ah oh, fuck it, I'll check it. God damn it. Part of me wishes I didn't have my hearing in my other ear anymore because I hate horror games that use the like atmospheric noise. Right, let's go to the kitchen and put my groceries away. Wait, what is this room? That's locked. 
Maybe I should turn the lights on. Is there a light switch in here? Wait, this is the... This is a side door. Oh my god, I did not know there was a side door. That is good to know. I was thinking that was just like grandpa's secret study. With all his journals about his trip to Thailand throughout the years. You know, grandpa, he was uh, pretty adventurous. He loved to travel specifically to uh, Thailand a lot of the time. Just uh, loves the, uh, the culture a lot. Yeah, and he, he would never go with gran grandma because uh, they were business trips. She had to stay by and uh, watch the, the kids. This is in the kitchen. Here, take this. Uh, eh. The kitchen wouldn't need. be on the second floor, would it? That would be stupid. Ah! I want to shoot guns again, bro. I was just thinking about like when we went to the, the gun range the other day. It was so fun, but it sucked because it was indoors and you're in like such close proximity to other people. I was so scared the entire time that I was going to accidentally be shot and die in the most embarrassing way possible. Is this the... Oh. A true woman's nightmare not being able to find the kitchen. Hey, it's gonna... What the fuck? This house layout sucks. How do you cook over here? And there's like a fireplace right here? What the? There's like barely any counter space. I am getting gun pilled. Guns are... Okay. I'm sorry to admit, guns are pretty cool. Hmm, maybe... Maybe I'll just have one. Okay, fuck it. I'm drinking the whole bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, the power went out. Oh, no. I just got a message from an unknown number that says, Welcome home. You look beautiful in the store today. Oh, thank you. Can't wait to see you again. Getting closer. What does that mean? Oh, is, that? is he inside or outside? Oh my god. He probably came in. Bro, he probably came into that fucking side door. What if I'm already there? No, you're not. No. Uh -uh. No! Bro, what if I go outside? What if he's outside and he like catches me outside? How about that? Was that lock? I'm here? He said I'm here. This is actually what it's like to get messages from the Uber Eats delivery driver. <laughs> they like the auto translate makes them sound so ominous when they're just being really friendly. There's one that just says, like, I have arrived, and it's just, like, full stop with a period. I'm outside right now. And they're just, like, out there with your Chipotle. <laughs> mm, your food smells good. Mind if I have a little bite? Oh, getting another quesadilla again, I see, with, a uh, sour cream on the side. Nice choice. I'm gonna have to take a little lactate with that to take the edge off. Don't worry. Okay, what if I hide in the, the bathroom? Oh god, I keep... I keep forgetting the powers out. What the fuck do I do? Wait, what if the side door is the safe door? Like, maybe he doesn't know there's a side door. Uh... Alright, uh, seems... seems safe. Seems okay. Where's my car? I think she, she parked it out front, right? Oh, 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 oh. I swear to god, if there's a fucking jump scare... 
Oh no, there's another letter. Congratulations on settling in. You may believe this mansion is your refuge, but every step you take reveals a deeper game. I'm with you in every choice, every move. There's no escape from becoming mine. This is getting out of hand. I'm being stalked by every single member of One Direction. I need to drive away and call the police before it's too late. God, this girl is such a Mary Sue. Like, I guess everybody's in love with her and stalking her now. Yeah, what if the uh, letter was laced with anthrax? <laughs> Don't forget about the people? What people? Pe <gasps> the people! The people! The people! It says drive away. I don't know if it's... Is it safe? The people. Wait. I'm gonna close and lock the door. If he's in there, he'll be really mad because he'll be locked in there. I think he's in the back seat. No, 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 no. Oh no. Bro, I think he, he fiddled with her engine. Please, Dory, come on. Why now of all times? Well, don't yell at the car. It's not his fault. It's not the car's fault you're being stalked. You're so <laughs> beautiful and <laughs> just entrancing that everybody has to stalk you. you stupid bitch. Something's really wrong. I have to get inside and call the cops, like, right now, like, ASAP. Oh no. Fucking close it, close it, close it, close it! I have to call the police? Are they gonna take this seriously? What if they're just like... Oh, come on, lady. I'm trying to sleep. 911, what's your emergency? I... I... I need help. I've been receiving threatening messages, letters, and texts. I'm really scared. I'm here to help you. Can you please provide your location? I'm at... It's urgent. Understand. I'm dispatching officers to your location right away. Can you describe the nature of the threats? They've been watching me, following me. The messages are getting more intense, and they're writing uh, boy band lyrics to me. Calling me beautiful. Stay on the line with me. Hope is on the way. In the meantime, try to find a safe and secure location within your home. Make sure to lock your doors. Okay, let's, let's double check the side door and make sure it's uh, all the way locked. All the way locked. Okay, locked. Locked? Wait. Does that icon mean... Right now, is it locked or unlocked? Does the, the toggle thing mean, like, press this if you want it to be locked? Okay, okay, it's locked, it's locked. I'm really losing it. Why it's good to have a puppy because at least you'd be in your home with a dog to protect you. Bro, I'm sending my dog to dog military school tomorrow for a week. If there's someone who's trying to kill us, it's over. Although, she is very small and only five months old, and I think if someone tried to kill us, she would just, uh, run under the couch and hide, and maybe come out to shit on the floor. What happened to this chair? Lock the doors? Why does it say lock the doors still? Is there a door that's not locked? Could, what could possibly be unlocked right now? That's grandpa's old cuck chair. An heirloom, a family heirloom passed down through generations. We're a proud cuck family. have to carry on the family... the family tradition. Okay, that's locked. Is there like a back door somewhere? Is this one lockable? It has a lock in it. 
Maybe some of the windows? Oh god. Oh. When she doesn't read all the- Oh. Oh. Bro, do you, how is it in fight or flight, okay? Do you- do you- if you're being stalked by a alien character, can you read? Locked, please hurry. Wait, is this a safe place in the house? If I was a soccer, this would be the first place I would check. The, the creepy storage room. Wait, why can't she just like hide under the this like sheet? <laughs> I was on the way to stay strong. I'm here with you until the officers arrive. Someone just tried to open the door. Officers will be there any second now. Now we play the waiting game. Uh, make a salt, <gasps> a salt circle. Bro, that was fast. Uh, these police are uh, really on it. It appears that everything is under control now. Our officers apprehended a man in a white van outside your residence. Wait, really? Bring him in for questioning. That was way too fast. You guys don't think... No. What if the stalker... Fucked with the cell phone signals, intercepted the call to 911, and this is the stalker, lulling her into a false sense of security. Yeah, they're working together. Thank you for your help. I'll be sure to reach out if something else happens. Yeah, let's see as the people. Phew, what a relief. I never thought I'd feel safe again, but maybe things can get back to normal now. <laughs> mm. Should be safe now. Let's head to the basement outside and restore the power. Yeah. Ah, outside. Let's go through the side door. Wait, so this is like a Midwest, like, oh, they got like a storm shelter basement. Uh, uh, uh. Close this. Why can't I close it? Why can't I fucking close it? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Where's the generator? The Jonas Brothers Company? Wait, this house is owned by the Jonas Brothers. The Jonas Brothers and One Direction, Liam Payne. Is this the generator? Maybe Grandpa's house runs on uh, a flame broiling Italian pizza stove. The power should be back on now. It'd be a shame if it went out again right when I went outside. <gasps> Bro, I forgot. I forgot to lock the door when I left. I stink of sweat. Let's take a bath before I go to sleep. Are you serious? Oh, yo, he's got one of those old-fashioned, like, chamber pot kind of toilets. Cool. Where, like, the tank is up here? Ooh. <sighs> Finally, a moment of peace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to uh, be in the most vulnerable possible situation when there is someone stalking my house. Why would that stranger go so far from me? Whatever, it's over now. Yeah, it's definitely over. It's safe. Hmm? You can go sit on the couch and watch your shows and have a little cheese and a cracker platter. 
so exhausted. I am gonna take a... She's taking a nap in the bath? I don't think you can lock the bathroom door. There's a lock on it, but... Bro, what the fuck is that noise? Do you hear that? It sounds like... It's like going through my noise gate. What the fuck is that? It sounds like a bass boosted... Do you hear that? Yeah, it's like a bassy like boom boom. It like goes through my gate. That's the stalker drone. They have subwoofers on that thing. Oh, Jesus. Sounds like a, a Honda Civic is nearby. <laughs> Bro, it'd be cool if the stalker did like little sound effects. Like cartoon sound effects. Like maybe he was like a stalker who's like really good at doing like cartoon voices and sound effects. Like the human beatbox. So like you're going up the stairs and he does like a... Or maybe he has like a trumpet every time you walk really slow, it's like... Stalker waiting outside your window meowing? POV or Stalker is being super fucking cute. I don't want to go to bed. Wouldn't you just want to stay up all night if that happened? Hey, your stalker is Michael Winslow. <laughs> yeah, it just does like cartoon noises in the background. You're like, wait, what the fuck was that? What is that noise? How does she fucking fall asleep? I don't even have like this kind of situation going on in my life. I. I'm like relatively anxiety free and you and I have insomnia. Sounds like it's coming from the storage room. No. Yeah, I'm gonna rotate myself. Uh, excuse me while I rotate. While I just rotate a bit. Whoa. Those pillows, they look like they've seen better days. Aubrey Plaza pose so she can minify her lazy eye? Aubrey Plaza has a lazy eye? I never noticed. M Wait, maybe that's why? Because she's always like slightly rotated whenever she's on camera? That's genius! She's gotten good at it? Yeah, she must be really good at it. Investigate noise? How, how about no? Is it... Wait, no, lock, 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 lock. She doesn't... She doesn't need a minimum... Minim <laughs> Called it sick how Liam is doing. I mean, the reason all this is happening to begin with is because I broke up with him. It's all my fault. If I had to stay with Liam, he would have kept me safe. What? No. What the fuck is wrong with this girl? No, of course not. What am I thinking? Let's put my mind on something else. But first, let's make sure the house is empty. I still don't feel safe. Oh. Bro. That, that, that got me so good. Woman moment. No, I think this goes beyond a woman moment. This is, uh, on a whole different level. 
this house looks kind of charming in the daylight. Oh, look, it's a little picture from Grandpa's Adventures in Thailand. Wait, what is... <laughs> is that a warship? <laughs> Oh, I love his, uh, quaint little beautiful pictures of horrific war crimes. Whoa, wait! I think I recognize this. Is this from, uh, somewhere in Ireland? What if she just, like, just chilled and ate some chips? Alright, take the store. Something looks a bit off about that book. The history of art, Mona Lisa. Oh, the cliffs of Dover, yes. Grandpa's good game. Bro. Bro. Ashley, the missing lady! 27-year-old Ashley was reported missing on August 15, 2013 by her husband two days after she disappeared from their home. Last seen in their residence, Ashley's sudden absence has raised suspicions with her husband emerging as a prime person of interest in the ongoing investigation. While authorities continue to search for the leads, they urge, they urge anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search for Ashley. Where she was last seen is just a <laughs> very beautifully taken picture <laughs> with the FOV slider slightly up of this exact house. Look, honey, we made the news. Pretty cool, right? I can't replace you, Ashley. There is no one that is as special as you. Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. My fault? How is it my fault? How is it my fault? I didn't want it to end like this. You left me with no other options. What the fuck did I do? How am I going to live on without you? What's the point of all this? I'm typing to a dead person. I would do anything to get you back. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. She looks just like you. Have you come back to me ten years later? She's just as beautiful as you were. She has to become mine. She will. No matter what. I can't let her run away from me like you once did. So he's... <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's so cringe to imagine this serial killer guy just standing here writing out his little... his cute little diary entries and then uh, taping them to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> like they're in like a little pattern too. Like, mm, I think I'll, I'll put them like uh, I'll put this one slightly up, and then this one just go up in like a little little diagonal line. I think that looks pretty good. Oh wait, oh, oh I put that one too high up. I'll adjust it. And yeah, let me step. He like steps back and like uh, admires it. Oh wait, this one's a little crooked. Here, I'll, I'll fix it. The Pinterest killer. <laughs> POV, making my mood board for my deranged schizo ramblings about the woman I kidnapped and killed. Mmm, I love using this paper I found at Hobby Lobby. It's just so crisp, has like the perfect amount of give, and I really love the texture of it. I just really love this like uh, papyrus font. Why would you want to leave me? I've done nothing but be good to you. Whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. You're never leaving me again though. What's in here? It's locked? No! Please don't tell me I have to do a puzzle to go find a key to unlock the locked place and then the power's gonna go out again and I have to go turn on the power in the cellar while someone's chasing me and I have to hide from them. Oh, fuck. Oh. Where would the key be? This looks suspicious. Like this spider web and the... the clock? What if it's in a flower pot? Or in the crapper? Crap on! Crap off! The clapper. Box in the room? Wait, no, it, it wouldn't be in there. That, that'd be ridiculous. Wait, which box? This one? Grandpa's old travel suitcase. Aw, oh, he took that on all of his little summer trips to Thailand. He really loved it there. 
Grandpa was so worldly. In the secret room. Is it this box? Ah! I clicked on that, but I... Oh yeah, there's a, there's a little ring in there. Probably... It's probably about time I talk to Grandpa about what's going on here. This is crazy. Oh man, this is really gonna bring down the property values. <laughs> Grandpa, are you there? Yes, has something happened? A lot has been happening. I've received creepy letters and have been followed by someone I think I don't think is Liam. I called the police and they arrest this suspicious individual lurking in the house. When I thought it was all over, I found a strange hidden room in your house that contains some psychotic things, to say the least. What? This is insane. Oh, uh, my, uh, my, my suitcase from Thailand is, uh, is that okay? Uh, did, did you look in that? Maybe the police arrested the guy leaving the letters in a uh, hidden room? I've lived there for 10 years and never seen that. I'll be cutting this business trip short. <laughs> He's on another business trip to Thailand. <laughs> and coming home ASAP. I can't stand not being able to help you. I'd like to think that they arrested him. But what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested someone who got set up? It makes me so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember of the person you brought this bought this place from? That could definitely be the case. I remember that his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. He was the talk of the town for quite a while. And his name was Her battery died. My phone ran out of battery and I don't have time to bring my I didn't have time to do Let's go find a flashlight in case I need one later. I think I remember seeing one in the basement. Oh, cool. I'd love to go back there. Oh, yeah. Was she using her, her iPhone as a flashlight? Is that why? Why is everything you need in a horror game always in like a really dark, dilapidated place like this? Sunrise. How is she gonna charge her fucking phone? <laughs> supposed to be <sighs> hey, yeah it sounded like a guitar riff with like reverb it was like doo -doo 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 -doo. Search for a weapon just in case. Let's start by looking through Grandpa's office upstairs. Oh, yes, Grandpa's secret weapon storage. I hope he has a rocket launcher. Uh, please be a gun. Uh, no. Uh, how about here? What is that? Oh. Oh, Grandpa, you devil. He's hiding, he's hiding a little secret snack stash in his desk for when he gets a little bit hungry and wants a little bit of a snack. Oh, Grandpa. That has to be Grandpa, right? Uh... Yeah, probably. Fuck this. Fuck it, Dancha! We'll use the people. Um... Ah! 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 Is that the guy from the, the store? Sorry if I scared you, I just had to come clean about something. Of course you did, you were the creep that talked to me earlier so the way it got cut off. What do you want to come clean about? I know it was creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Liam told me to do it in hopes that you would take him back to feel safe again. Oh... Wait, that's so fucked up. Why would you agree to do that? <laughs> 
rose before hoes, man. I was supposed to take it a step further now, but I couldn't do it. I felt too sorry for you. It all makes a lot more sense now. Thank you for telling me. Yeah, bro. Oh, thank you. Thank you for pretending to stalk me. I still don't feel safe around you. Can you leave now, please? Yes, of course. I'm um, sorry again. What What did he mean? Take it a step further. Was he gonna like <laughs> go into the house and uh? And prank her by chasing her around with a knife? Was he gonna like cut out little holes in a white sheet and pretend to be a ghost? Oh god. Hi, Sawi. <laughs> Hi, Sawi. Really? It's night already? Guess it's time to go to bed. Where the fuck is her grandpa? Don't tell me the stalker got her grandpa. He was gonna cling wrap under the toilet seat. He was gonna put a, a rubber band on the little spray holes thing on the kitchen sink. Did, did, did that come from my bedroom door? Jump out the window. Jump out the fucking window. Wait, did I forget to... I think it actually changes if you forget to lock the doors. Wait, it doesn't even fucking matter. He he probably has the keys to the place anyway. Cause he's got a secret little dungeon in there. He he renovated the place. You thought this was over? You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work. Your phone is dead. The police think they got the person behind this, and you don't know where they where I am. There is nothing that can stop me anymore. Too long, didn't weed. What do I do? I know, I'll f if I follow down the other path I saw when I first got here, maybe I can find some neighbors that can help me. The other path? Wait, is she just gonna book it, like, on foot? Out in the dark forest? Yeah, can I get the Cliff Notes version of all the creepy letters, please? Follow other path. Other path? This way? Yeah, there's an invisible wall. Definitely not that way. Ooh. 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 Oh, nice. Birch trees. Maybe there's a path behind the house? Um, if anyone is following me right now, just stop it. Just stop. I'm gonna get really mad. Yo, bro, it's sundown. The zombies are gonna come out. We have to make a dirt shelter. Yeah, maybe there's like a fork in the road or something down this uh, dirt road. Yeah, why didn't she just like grab a chair leg or something and just like whittle it down using a kitchen knife or just use the kitchen knife? This path? Why is it getting d d darker? I'm not gonna lie, I'd be more scared about the bears out here than the stalkers. I think you could fight off. Oh my god. Whose car is this? What if I just steal it? This is definitely Liam's car. What? Huh? Wait, can I open it? There's no license plate. He would drive a, a shitty little car like that. It looks like a mom car. Again, like, pick the kids up from practice looking car.
that's your car? I didn't mean it, I'm just jealous. Do not let my Prius hear that I said that. Oh, I'm gonna be sleeping on the couch tonight. Whoa. This is what it looks like inside of the lungs of someone who vapes. It's just like, it's literally just a mine. Blood? Wait, blood? Oh! Oh! Oh, cool. <gasps> what the fuck? That's lame, what happened to you? Ah, uh, he deserved it. She is... He took a picture of her in the back! Oh no, that's the side my lazy eye is on. Oh my god. Bro, why do you have to do it in such a cringe way? He can't even read these. He's... Did he gouge out his eyes? Oh, Jesus. Press shift is... Okay. <laughs> I love how in horror games when that pops up, you're like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to shit my pants now. <laughs> Wait, why, why, why won't this open? <laughs> I got scared by a fucking piece of wood. Oh, <laughs> uh, awkward. Uh, no, that just happened. <laughs> I think these are Ashley's remains. <laughs> oh yeah, because the head is back in the, uh, <laughs> the storage room. <laughs> wow, Ashley's skeleton looks so fucking stupid. I bet she was such a bitch. Ew. Uh. Oh my god. She had a calcium deficiency. Well, that's a really interesting... Uh, would it be a skeleton? Like, I feel like... I don't know. Ashley is such a skinny legend. <laughs> I couldn't wait anymore. I need you now. My new. It looks, looks like she won't be getting ahead in life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think she had a good head on her shoulders. It's the eye, bro. I was going to say I felt like it was too mean sounding, but never trust a guy who braids his fucking facial hair. And secondly, in conjunction, like braiding your facial hair and wearing a fucking vest like that. Over like a dress shirt. Don't fucking trust that. Couldn't wait anymore. I need you now, my new Ashley. So, uh, it was you who has been sending me the letters. I know I look similar to your ex-wife, but that doesn't mean I can replace her. I don't care. I look is more than enough. Come here. I've been waiting so long for this. No. No. I have to run before it's too late. what I said. Oh fuck, this way? Oh god. Ah, no, not the midi scary music. The police are coming. Surely they'll help, right? And meanwhile, there's like, oh, uh, sorry, can we stop at this convenience store? I really wanna... <gasps> they got the fucking... Train snipers on deck. Police arrived on the scene just in time, thanks to Grandpa. He hurried back home after the abrupt ending the Kate's phone call with him. When he arrived home, he realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. Got a sinking gut feeling the worst might have happened. He called the police instantly, and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt after the news was like nothing else. Taking a big dump. What happened to everyone else involved? 
The man in the white band said that his reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger following her home from the store. Why was he driving the creepiest vehicle possible? Of course, the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else was there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he had actually been telling the truth. He was released the same day. Liam's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. The psychopath who killed his ex-wife, Ashley. Liam and almost Kate, plus eight, ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult. At night, she often hears those daunting knocks on her bedroom door, disrupting her attempts to sleep. Throughout every day, she finds herself checking behind and scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. Thanks for playing! <laughs> Kate had to get extensive psychological therapy. It was, a, it was a pretty spooky game. On my spooky meter, it was definitely very jump scare reliant, but it, I think it did have like a general sense of unease and tension throughout. That just like built up over time. Yeah, I think I think jump scares can be okay if they're done well. It, it did get me a little bit. It did get it did get me a little bit. It is a very relatable fear. It, yeah, it was, it was a pretty good... Uh, I would say... Out of 10, how scary it is. Probably like 5, 5 or 6 out of 10. But... I don't know, that doesn't mean it's like bad. I've just... I've just... I've had scary. I'm... I'm definitely not scared by this game at all. Like, it, it didn't bother me. I didn't piss. I didn't make a... a pee pee. I'm not trembling. Yeah, the jump scares are a little bit cheap if, it, if they're relied upon too much. The guitar... Yeah, the guitar riff of the bird flying by was probably the scariest part, because, like... <laughs> it made no fucking sense. Like, it was so jarring. Because <laughs> I was not expecting that kind of sound effect to be used in a fucking jump scare. I didn't make a pee, -pee. I'm like that chef from Ratatouille, just looking for the perfect horror game to finally make me pee and shit myself. Just like I did when I was a young lad. Hey, how do I rotate myself without- Whoa! Surprise! <laughs> yeah. I can do that. I'm riding spinners. <laughs> I'm waiting, waiting spinners now. <laughs>